Well, good morning. We are processing this week. And not with a Warta, with a South Star. Um, our last machine that this guy runs that I'm filling in for, somehow the machine caught on fire an hour or two hours after they left work and burnt the machine to the ground the head was fine but so Peterson cat gave us this machine to try out for a little bit it's a 558 with a South Star 600 it was a trade-in 6,000 hours pretty nice machine really uh, so it's the next size down from a 568 from what we run and we don't usually run South Stars but this is what they had available it's not like you can uh, go to Walmart and pick one of these up off the shelf you know a lot of these machines are ordered to be built or they have they're just shovels and then you have to buy the processor head to put it on so yeah, pretty nice machine, really. I've been in it. Oh, I guess this is my fourth day. So, just trying to get the get back in the swing of processing. Uh, the other guy is having some surgery. Head surgery requires five days of pretty much doing nothing. So. So I'm in here running this since I'm ahead on my cutting. And uh, yeah, so I might be in it next week too. We'll see. If not, uh, my buddy Ryan will be in it. If he gets done with the job that I just cut, he thinks he might have her tomorrow or something. So we'll see. Anyways, but yeah, so. Man, that sun is terrible. So I got 11 fur swords, uh, but right now we're just using, let me see, a few, like four or five. So right here will be my uh, domestic fur down to five inch. It'll take up to a 32 inch butt. And then I have my pulp right here for the meal train. Then we're doing peelers, export, oversize. Oversized rough, oversized clean, lots of stuff. Oh, my uh, shovel hopper comes and loads a few loads out of here. I don't want to make it too tall for him because he's obviously down, will be lower than me quite a bit. Here's my peelers, and that's a 34 foot with a foot of trim, so 35 total. They only want the long peelers on this uh, this place, but it's kind of a mixed bag of stuff here. 90% fur, which is nice. That just kind of eliminates another sort for hemlock. So the peelers have to be 10 inch and up on the scaling end to make it not horribly rough but not totally clean for their specs. So obviously poles 
export are your number one priority, but this stand's not having the poles and it's a lot of smaller stuff mixed with big stuff. Your export has to be 12 inch and up on the scaling end, so therefore lots of domestic in this pile at least. having a hard time 
binding stuff yesterday to change some of the instructions for bucking because this mill likes a 24 foot log not a 26 so um, I had to change that up in my presets which took me a while to figure out but I got it that is a western hemlock right there put those over here always sort your logs for your frost and your shovel off there it makes life a lot easier for him loading he doesn't have to get his tape measure out and measure logs that's why they designed these machines speed up production Next week.